Hello, Beth from Pearl Treasure Designs here with your five for five collaboration. What can, you can make that for what? Look, what's at your craft desk? Let's get started uh, with our first DIY. So as you can see, uh, once we get to the first DIY, everything is made um, with something from the dollar store. And so my project here is with the blocks. Um, I did get these Jenga blocks at the thrift store as well. And you'll get to see me putting those glued blocks from the dollar store into a coaster that I had made early on. And I decided to use it for, yes, a lantern. These are puck lanterns that I'm making um, for the back patio. And I am uh, gluing these with hot glue and with wood glue um, for my positioning once I decided how I wanted it laid out. And you'll get to see uh, that I put four rows on this particular lantern and I am going to stain these and um, get them ready to hang. So you'll get to see that in a bit. Um, but we'll see that at the final reveal. Here with number DIY number two, we are also doing a lantern, but this time I chose the uh, pallets from the dollar store and decided uh, how I wanted them laid out um, front or back uh, because it did change the look of the design. And uh, once I have this glued together, you will get to see the finished product um, again at the final reveal. Cleaning off some glue here, that uh, Gorilla Glue tends to expand when you use it, but it does give a nice tight bond to the wood. So you just gotta wipe off the excess before it hardens. And it's still, if it's not too thick, it does take a stain pretty well. Moving on to DIY number three. Again, I am making a uh, lantern uh, with the dollar store cube and I'm using dollar store rounds with um, driftwood for this one. Um, I wanted to use more of the wood products because they were in the store early in the season. And so now um, I'm trying to make sure that the, it's big enough to fit the puck light so that it can be, the batteries can be changed um, when needed. Again, this is gonna hang out outside by my, uh, under my underhang by my pool. So you'll get to see the progression of this um, with hot glue and with wood glue, um, just to hold it in place until it dries. And you'll see the attachment of the puck light and what I decided to do uh, for the ease of changing batteries. Um, You'll see the final product, but I did choose to put Velcro on the back side of the puck light so that I could just untwist it and change the batteries out as needed or to charge the batteries that I chose. Uh, so you'll get to see this. And another final product, um, I did have collaboration with my friend from Crafty Art Shack, Charlene. She was helping me put my wood product together. Uh, so kudos to Charlene, thanks for all your help and we had a blast hanging out. So uh, always a good time when we get together. So you'll get to see the final product at the final reveal. So check it out. And now we are getting ready to introduce our hosts and our co-host. For under five, five under five DIY challenge, our host is Missy from Crafty Cove DIY and Emily from Farm Charm Chic with our guest host, Anna Lee from Anna Lee Ashby DIY. And this is a wonderful, wonderful team for uh, the five under five challenge uh, with all of our uh, items coming from the Dollar Tree uh, for part of our decor. So as we get into that, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for each of their channels. So here is DIY number four. Uh, 
with Crafty Art Shack helping me with my gluing. Uh, she did a great job and I thank her for all of her help. So we made some lanterns in different ways and added our little old creative spin to it um, with the items that we had around. And so you're going to get to see this put together with the driftwood from the dollar store um, as well as the uh, cubes from the dollar store that I had already prepared and glued together. And so this will also be a puck light uh, lantern. And we'll get to see that at the final reveal. DIY number five is coming up. And so here we have another um, another design with the driftwood and the cubes and uh, the, the circles and palettes all from the dollar store. And so uh, we were deciding, Charlene was deciding if she wanted to have them standing up, which made it look like uh, a really neat uh, nautical theme or water theme, um, which goes perfectly with the theme I have going out in my backyard. So it worked out really well. And uh, you'll get to see uh, what she's putting together there. But I do apologize for the video. I didn't quite incorporate everything for both uh, both pieces. So I'm still learning how to how to keep everything in frame. But you'll get the idea of what she's putting together uh, using jute to decorate for the stays in between each of the pylons uh, theme for that lantern. And uh, she'll go around and decorate that. And then um, again at the tips of these, and you'll get to see that at the final reveal. And here are some of the final touches. Puck lights were added to each of the uh, lanterns. Some of, half of them were not um, stained, and half of them were stained, uh, so that I could keep that natural tones flowing in the theme for this year's. Um, outdoor decor. And part of this uh, final theme was, or final touches, was getting to stain each of these lanterns. And because of the textures of the wood and the saturation of some of the coatings on the wood, like the Jenga blocks, it took the stain very differently. So um, I was excited to see how these came out and I hope you enjoy. And I did fast forward these next uh, couple short uh, final touch videos because uh, there's nothing like watching paint dry. Uh, I say that often because it drives me crazy if I'm not doing something. Uh, so enjoy and I hope this uh, content has helped you. So please uh, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And again, please, please, please take a look at the playlist uh, with all of the wonderful participants and uh, go, to their, uh, go to their videos, like and share and subscribe. Nothing helps better uh, to a crafter than subscribing to their channels. So thanks for your support there. Hi, on this final touch, I wanted to show you a technique I used. I, instead of using a regular Q-tip, I used the um, bulbous ended Q-tips and dipped them in the stain to get in between the palette so there was no raw wood showing. Uh, I can't stand that. <laughs> so you're going to see the final reveal with the finished products. I did purchase the puck lights at uh, Walmart for a pack of five. And there are a couple there puck lights from the dollar store. 
Thanks for watching. If you have spiritual support needs, please go to Pastor Beth at gmail.com.